been practicing for a few months all together and played in our first tournament this past weekend and it went really well. We all had a really good time. It's the dawn of a new era in Manitoba cricket and it's coming at the hands of some high schoolers from Brandon as they start the first ever all-female cricket team in the province. Five other teams that we played against this past weekend and we played full team as all girls against all the guys teams and Everybody was really accepting and we could see this having a really good future. The first few matches were a little bit like scary because you're we weren't used to facing those um, balls as well. But it, it was fun overall. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. 15 year old Mahi Patel has played cricket before as the only girl on an under 19 provincial team last year. The rest of the Crocus Plains Regional Secondary School team are just starting their cricket careers. Everyone in my family has been playing cricket and I've just always grown up liking it. That's the same for me. My parents are always um, hyped about cricket and I don't really know why and I think this is an opportunity I get to know why. There is only one lady out of Winnipeg who's playing at a high level so we are hoping to open the doors to having a full full squad coming up from Manitoba and we're hoping that all these ladies will will join in and continue on past the high school stage and Keep it going. With a sponsorship deal for equipment, the Crocus Plains women's team is hoping to play against the women's teams in BC, Saskatchewan, and Alberta until another women's team takes to the field in Manitoba, which they hope is soon. I feel like cricket is like a gentleman's sport, and when I see more um, females participating, it feels good because you're breaking the stereotype. The grade 10 and 11 girls don't lack for passion, only for opponents, but they have a motto for their next match. It was Chuck Day, which uh, means uh, let's do it. So let's show them let's do it. Three, two, one, Chuck Day! In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News. In one minute on City News.